Keenan Chan holds here, West Virginia Land and Home Realty on Lot 16 in uh, Mountain Air. And I'm standing down here in this little hollow um, along this little creek here that runs through the lot. Um, and it's been very, very, very dry here. So this little stream here typically carries more water than this uh, this time of year. But uh, this lot here is almost 22 acres. And... Um, Right up on this little knoll here is where your building site's going to be. Um, and my truck is probably just out of sight right there. But um, the subdivision road's kind of right up beyond the top of that hill. So, um, you know, your building site's going to be right off the road. But it's kind of going to overlook this hollow here where the stream is, which is really pretty. So, you know, for driveway, uh, electric, all that kind of stuff, I mean... <laughs> It's no distance at all um, to run that on this lot. So from an infrastructure standpoint, this lot be pretty cheap to uh, build something on. Um, and then what the lot does, it goes up this hillside and then on the top, it really flattens out nice. I mean, there's tons of usable ground up there at the top but, you know, it's probably too steep to get a road up there, you know, to build or anything like that. Now, you could get an ATV path up there, I'm sure, um, you know, to go up there and hunt or whatever. But there's like a little, um, as you can see right there, there's like a little swale that runs up to the top. And I think you could fashion yourself an ATV path to get up there. But it's probably not feasible to get up there to build on that side. But, uh... That's why this lot's priced at $79.9 and not $99.9 uh, because of that fact. Um, but down here in the hollow, I mean, <clears throat> there's an old logging road that kind of runs right through here like this. You know, there's usable ground down here in the hollow. Um, this would make a nice lot. Um, you know, if you just wanted a lot for a camper or something like that to put a camper on, it would be good for that. But... Um, Maybe now you can see my white pickup up through there, but there's like a little point that runs from where my pickup's parked down into the hollow right here like this, you know, and that's kind of where you'd build at would be kind of like right in there. So the building site would be right off the road. Um, but once again, I mean, this is not a heavily trafficked, you know, road by any stretch of the imagination. Property line goes through there about maybe a hundred yards that way from where I'm standing right now. Um... And like I said, when you look at the topo map of this thing, you'll see all that flat usable ground up there on the top. But you either got to walk up there or fix yourself a, you know, like an ATV trail to go up through this little gully, you know, and pop you right out up there on the top. And I, and I know there's old logging roads up there on the top as well. But um, I'll take another video here, uh, you know, right up there, kind of like from the building site. Um, just to kind of show you, but you'd be looking right down on the stream or whatever. So, uh, it, this is a nice lot for 79 nine. You're not going to beat it. N not even close. Keenan Chan holds here, West Virginia land and home realty. And I'm at the, uh, building site here. What I think is the building site on lot 16 in mountain air. And I'm going to pan around here. You can see my truck sitting right there, which is along, uh, the subdivision road. And the electric pole was right there by my truck. So, I mean, it's literally 80 feet maybe uh, to pull the electric here. Um, you'll have a short driveway. You know, anywhere on this little hillside in here, it, you know, it, whether you want to cut this down and make a pad for like a camper or something here, or if you want to build a cabin here, something would on a walkout basement would fit in here really nice. And you'd be overlooking the little creek down there in the bottom. And looking at the rest of your property there across the hollow. But, you know, you could see how this little point kind of runs down here right into the creek bottom. But, uh, I mean, I think there's plenty of room here to build on this hillside. Um, you know, uh, should be, shouldn't be nothing to it. I mean, uh, just a little excavation work. But in terms of, uh, you know, infrastructure here, short driveway, short pool for the electricity, Generally speaking, you know, wells aren't very deep in here at all. Um, you know, it, it, the infrastructure costs here are going to be much lower than other places to build on this lot. So, 
Um, and once again, the reason why this thing's priced at 79.9 is, is because the building site here is kind of, you know, close to the road or whatever. And then, you know, to get to the, I mean, this, like, like I said in, in the first video there by the, by the creek, there is a ton of usable ground uh, up there on the top of this lot, but you either got to walk up there or fix yourself a fuller, <clears throat> you know, fuller path to get up there to use it. But, um, you know, for 79.9, you're not going to beat this one. I promise you.